Microsoft just like 30 minutes ago announced a new version of Microsoft Copilot. Uh, so I'm going to show you what's new and it's not just Copilot. A lot of people are calling it Copilot V2. We'll see if that sticks. But now we also have uh, some new updates on Copilot Labs and Copilot Vision. All right, so stick with me for about five ish minutes and I'm going to show you what's new with all of these as well as we're going to get a run through right now in this new Copilot V2. I have access. We're going to do it live and together. All right, let's jump into it. If you're brand new here, uh, what's going on? My name's Jordan. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI to grow your company and career. And so many people are doing that with Microsoft Copilot. And there's always so much going on with Copilot. Uh, so we just, this is not to be confused, right, with the new Microsoft 365 Copilot Wave 2 that was announced uh, two weeks ago in mid-September. So this is a completely uh, new uh, announcement from Microsoft Copilot. This wasn't even really announced. Um, it was more just kind of teased and then all of a sudden we got all this new information. So uh, I will leave a link in this video so you can go read more about this. But essentially there's three kind of main products here or three main new releases. Uh, so number one is the new Copilot. So that is this new. Uh, so there's this new interface, these new cards, uh, there should be a uh, new voices that are making their way to copilot i don't know what i'm going to have access to uh, also with this new microsoft uh, again if this is going to be called copilot v2 we're not sure but this new card uh, version of microsoft copilot if you don't have it it's because right now there's only uh, access in certain countries they're rolling this out um, i'm actually accessing it via a vpn uh, right now so i can give you guys a look uh, but not available in the us right now Conversely, uh, some of these other new features. So let's take a quick look at uh, Copilot Labs. So Copilot Labs is essentially, it's a space to test new AI features like Google Labs, all right? Uh, this is only available to Copilot Pro users uh, on the web and that's rolling out starting today. I don't have access to this yet, uh, but I'll probably do a video once I do get access. And then we have Copilot Vision. That's this one right here, which is actually uh, super cool. So Microsoft has already previewed this uh, before. This is essentially where you can browse the web Right, so we have this here in this little video and you can talk to Copilot um, and it can see what's going on on your screen. This is very, very cool. Uh, so I'm gonna keep checking once I get access to this, but I don't have it yet. But that is called uh, Microsoft, or sorry, Copilot Vision. Uh, so essentially you can co-browse with an AI, talk to it, it sees what's on your screen, wild. So this is also supposed to be available to Copilot Pro users starting today in the US. So I'm gonna have much more on that once I get access. But what I do have have access to right now and enough chit chat let's get into it this is the new version of microsoft uh, copilot so whether this is going to be called v2 or not uh, let's just go straight in so you'll see it's maybe a design that looks familiar uh, that's because microsoft kind of aqua hired inflection so if this looks like inflection pie uh, i thought i had this up on a screen here i do Bam, there we go. Uh, if this looks like inflection pie, well, that's because Microsoft kind of just uh, aqua hired inflection. So if this looks familiar, it looks like a lot of these, I mean, down to the colors, the shapes. Uh, yeah, very familiar. So we'll see if this works. All right. So I'm just going to go in and we're going to try these. Uh, so we're going to try these um, cards live. So again, new interface um let's just let's give it a try this is unedited unscripted so it's saying uh can you make a list of pros and cons for me so it's saying sure thing um okay so i'm just gonna say uh using ai versus typing manually all right i don't even know if this is more like a gpt do i need to explain it okay so it it remembers this is a pros versus cons list all right pretty pretty simple here um i'm not sure how to get out so a little UI bug here. So I don't see um, a place to get back. So again, this is brand new, but you would have thought that would have been uh, taken care of, but not yet. Um, also, I am not logged in uh, to my Microsoft account because when I was trying this, uh, it I wasn't getting the new version. So yes, I am using a VPN in a private window, uh, but still 
uh, the user interface a little tricky there. All right, let's see if I still have access. There we go. So I'm not even sure how to go back. So I guess I just click new chat. Uh, okay, interesting. I can't go back. So I don't get that nice little, uh, you know, card design. Uh, I guess I have to sign in. So we'll see if I lose access to it or not. Let's, uh, so I can start a new chat here. It says no thanks. Okay, so I can't, let's see if this will take me to the home. There we go. Okay, so a couple other things on these boards things, and it looks like it gives you a new one each time you log in or refresh. Uh, so let's see, it says, let me teach you a few new words. Okay, so these are just pre-built prompts. That's all they really are uh, right now. So nothing, uh, you know, groundbreaking here. It's just a different interface, it looks like, uh, to work with Copilot, where uh, the traditional Copilot, let me see, uh, let me do this here. Sorry to make you guys jump around here. So this is how the traditional Copilot uh, kind of interface looks. So this just says coming soon. Uh, you know, when you start talking to Copilot, it looks more like this. Okay, so obviously a polished design. Uh, I'm not crazy right now about the uh, user experience. Actually, most people are going to be looking for either a back button, uh, a list of their chats here on the left hand side, a way to exit out. Again, I don't know if that's because I'm not logged in, uh, but it's actually not super intuitive as is uh, that you actually have to click this uh, home button. So, you know, nothing crazy here. Uh, this is just new layout. These, these cards, kind of this card view, it looks like they're just starter prompts. It doesn't even really look like they're necessarily, you know, full blown. GPTs or smaller version uh, of Microsoft Copilot, which is obviously powered by OpenAI's GPT 4.0. Uh, so let's see what else. I don't know if this voice is going to, uh, if this new neural voice is going to work. Uh, so that's another big thing here uh, in this both uh, what's new in uh, Copilot here. It's supposed to also be this uh, kind of voice that you're able to talk to, right? So uh, let's see. And this does seem a little bit like the advanced voice mode that OpenAI just released uh, to the public last week. All right. So let's see if we can get that to work. I might have to log in. So let's go ahead and give it a try. All right. I'll get back to you once I'm done networking with my fellow bots. All right. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you could hear that. It's on my computer. So I'm going to play it one more time. It's just like, it says like, hey, I'm not here. So it sounds like it's not going to be available for now. Oh, sorry. Didn't hear you at first. I'm unavailable right now. So maybe try again later. All right, so it looks like we can't use it right now. Uh, so I'm actually gonna pause this, log into my account. I'm not gonna do anything else and we'll see if uh, logging in gives us access or if I might lose uh, since I'm accessing this via a VPN. Uh, so let's see if that works. All right, so I just logged back into uh, my account. So before, like I said, I'm using this via a VPN in a private window uh, because I wasn't getting access to this new kind of uh, V2 card interface any other way. Uh, so now I logged in and it looks like I still have access. So that's good. Uh, now it's having me put in some information. Okay, so we at least now can pick the voice. So you can see uh, once you do get access to this and it is supposed to be rolling out at some point soon uh, to those of you in the US, it's available in, uh, I think I'm set to India right now to, to preview this. So you can choose your voice. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm not able to share my uh, tab audio here. So hopefully you can hear these. Let's explore the world together. I can get philosophical, creative, or poor. I can write stories. I can get philosophical. All right, so there was four voices there. I chose Canyon. So that's the only other thing that we kind of missed. Okay, so at least now, again, not crazy with this interface. I think they're going... Uh, I think Microsoft is literally trying to go uh, very much like Pi, which I've never been a fan of the Pi interface. So it is very minimalistic. Uh, it looks like here's my list of chats. So I don't see my old chats in my account. Uh, so you might want to check into that. You know, if you have anything uh, that you really need, 
uh, I, I don't have access to all my old chats here. So it looks like maybe once you're on the new version, you might lose access to all your old chats. I'm not sure. All right, so let's just do this new chat. Okay, I'm just gonna say, you know, tell me about the new Microsoft Copilot uh, from October 1st, 2024. All right. Okay, good. So yeah, just doing some basic testing. It still connects, you know, via Bing, which is good. Um, so now I'm gonna try a new chat here and make sure that that one stays. Okay, that's to upload a file. So yeah, that's a little confusing. I would have thought that that plus button was a new chat. It's actually to upload a file. So yeah, uh, at least first impressions, if I'm being honest, this design is a little confusing. All right, uh, let's try again to see if we can talk to our AI assistant. All right, so looks like that's still not available in that, aside from this new kind of interface, uh, this the, the the new neural voices like ChatGPT's uh, advanced voice mode, that was one of the bigger parts uh, of Copilot, so not yet available. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that we need to look at under the hood. So this is another thing, it has this Copilot daily. So as you kind of tell it uh, what you um, like, you essentially get a daily podcast here. So here's my Copilot Daily. Uh, we'll listen to a second of this. Welcome to the Copilot Daily. It's Tuesday, October 1st. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that sea otters hold hands while sleeping to keep from drifting apart? Now, let's get into today's stories. Mount Everest. Earth's tallest mountain is still growing. Okay, so it looks like it's just giving me top news stories of the day, uh, which is fine. I'm sure that there is a, actually, I know that there's a way to personalize this. Uh, that's just the voice, so I'm not sure where to do it or if it just learns from your browsing history. Uh, I'm not sure, but I do know the Copilot Daily is supposed to be a daily podcast uh, that you kind of start your day with, uh, with top news. Um, I, I do know Perplexity has a similar feature. Also, you know, Notebook LM, although it doesn't do this daily, it does also have this kind of AI podcast feature. All right, so if I'm being honest, I don't see really anything else in here uh, that's out of the ordinary. If I'm being honest, not a fan of the user interface. I get what they're doing here. It is much slicker, sleeker uh, than the old Microsoft Copilot, but um, yeah, it's just a little hard to find all of your chats, right? It's almost like multiple buttons. Sometimes when you are inside of a chat, so you know, right here, I think this button is actually gonna be a new chat. It's not, that's to upload a file. Uh, you know, so it's actually a lot of clicking around to get to your chats, right? Um, so not a huge fan of the interface. Yes, it's slicker. Uh, it's sleeker. I think this is going to be uh, the showstopper here once you have this advice, kind of this advice, uh, I can't even speak, advanced voice mode inside of the new Copilot V2. Uh, that's huge because right now you do not have that on access to desktop, even with uh, chat GPT desktop, right? I uh, have that right here or on the website. You only get that on the mobile phone, which for me, I hate working on my phone. I'm so slow on my phone. I'm on my computer all the time. So I'm very much looking forward to this. I'm also very much looking forward to Copilot Labs and Copilot Vision. So once I do get access to that, uh, I'll let you know. But also, that's it for today. I know this was a long one. We're looking at it live. So uh, you saw what's new in this new Copilot uh, V2. Not a lot, not the biggest fan, but it's nicer and I'm sure they'll improve it over time. So let me know what else you want to see on this new Copilot update. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. Go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for the free daily newsletter and we'll see you back for another AI in 15. Thanks, y'all.